where did we see this symbol before? <laughs> there's a... There's a sun... Triangle, upside down triangle. I think I remember this. There's so many combinations. This will be, this will take forever. Let's go with sun, moon, serpent, serpent, emperor, penguin, triangle, medallion. There, what? Is that, did we get it? Yeah. What the hell? All right. I guessed it. I don't know how I figured that out. Another phonograph. All right. I'll take it. That's where we have to go. In archaic myths, lurking in shunned and forbidden volumes, I've been able to trace some parts, speaking about a device of non-terrestrial origin that is capable of much more than I could ever imagine. Ancient cornariums, I will call them. Machines which are said to have been built long before mankind ever tread on this planet. The very source of the design I've used to make my own version of the machine. made his own canarium golem or is, I think he's talking about the right, that device there we go Cthulhu mask wooden mask that clearly depicts a cephalopod creature just looking at it gives me the shivers I need one of these secret doesn't give out under my weight. I need one of these secret caverns or caves in my place. I better start digging. I hope it doesn't break because there's a that thing that upstairs that we didn't even we didn't figure out what it was. We watched the entire animation of him going down the ladder. Apparently. Here we go. Here's the device he's talking about. Don't look at it. It's stuck. <laughs> Is that a reptile or a... another human? I remember this place and what we achieved here. Violating the laws of nature with the help of those dead bodies brought here secretly from only God knows where. Forcing them to cooperate by the means of the cursed necromancy. And dreaming their dreams in those profane sessions to learn forbidden knowledge. Now I can distinctly see how pure madness once roamed here within our own shoes. Hey, there's that printer. Pentagram, Elder Sign. A bat. Any 
need a phonograph cylinder. There's one. Is that what we need for upstairs? It is said that ancient conariums have the ability to transfer one's mind outside through the endless vacuum into other receiving conariums. Just think about the possibility of shedding off the earthbound mortal coil to reach to the stars and yonder as a free agent to see the grand scheme above and beyond the third dimension. Being able to contemplate vistas and sense things you could never ever dream of with the help of the bodily sensations. Finally, we shall overleap time, space, and dimensions, and without bodily motion, peer to the bottom of creation. Yes, I know how this sounds to you. This is incomprehensible, even for some me who spent almost a lifetime on such arcane topics. It is just sad to see. The knowledge has been out there all the time forevermore, and we failed to read between the lines. Locked. Both of these are locked. Alright, I gotta make sure I have everything from down here before I go back up. Here we go. Oh, almost missed the key. Is it for one of these doors? Yeah. Oh. What the hell was that? Hmm. We're back here. Or is this another vision? Years of extensive research and not. Oh, no, we're him. Dr. Foss. Here it is. Lying dormant and standing still beneath the eternally shifting sands of Rubal Kali for who knows how many millennia. Under the sands. Take that. Take that. Equip myself with an axe just in case we get attacked by angry aliens. Why would they build something here so unreliable? The ever shifting sands. The hallway seems like it was intentionally blocked with this ornate wall, and there are some primal writings inscribed on it. Hmm. As far as I can tell, the text talks about a guardian, a formless, glistening, and reflectively iridescent black protoplasm, able to mock and reflect all forms and organs. Hmm. As now we need to break it. <laughs> Sorry. Should have took a picture of it at least. These mummified bodies were the ones who originally built this place. I wonder if these mummified bodies were the ones who originally built this place. Here we 
go. What's this? Puzzle time. Gotta line these up. Oops. Wait, didn't we draw something down? Like, didn't we draw something in our journal? This could be it. I'll move this right, right about there. I think I get it now. There we go. There we go. Just trying to match that symbol that we drew. Get this. We did all that for just a crank. It took me forever to match that symbol. We got it though. I finally found it. This mural is depicting the continents in the middle... Hmm... Jurassic era, I believe. This is marvelous, as well as overwhelming. The light from the device is obviously showing the locations of the ancient conarians. Yes, it definitely is so, for I've known two of these places, from the detailed petroglyphs in the secret halls beneath the Khafre's pyramid. But they all had gone now. Even their ruins had been crumbled under the waves of human cruelty and the merciless time. But this lowermost landmass is what we call Antarctica today. It is most probable that the structure that holds the conarium is mostly enduring still today. It's probably under snow. Do we just leave now? <laughs> Let's go home. Let's go to Antarctica. this place immediately. Yeah. Oh shit, what the hell is that? A blob? Hey, we're 
we're back here. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuck, goddammit. It won't open. There we go. Oh. What happened to me? This is the price we must pay for our transgressions. The price to be paid for breaking away from the limits of mortal flesh and delving into arcana of consciousness that few have trod. Ah, what, what the hell is going on? You are naive for suppressing our truest aspirations. Such earthly fear of improbability detached you from our absolute purpose. I definitely lost my mind. Yeah. Uh, Almost there. I think we're in his realm now. Dr. Faust, you made it so far. Oh God, what has happened to him? Dr. Faust, can you hear me? Are you all right? I've yes. seen some shit. I can scarcely hear you. How terrific is the price of a single glimpse behind the veil of nature. Frank, we've sought to escape from the, the tedium and limitations of waking reality into beckoning vistas of fabled avenues of other dimensions. But did it work, or was all in vain? For us to begin with. I lost my sight and I cannot feel my legs anymore. <laughs> Our bodies are falling apart under such alien sensations of this accursed device we used to open forbidden doors of time and space. And I feel every part of my body is failing fast. I have no power within me to resist my downward course now. So you... you have to move on. There is no other way. Reach the ancient conarium and Shed your deteriorated skin. Else consume some of this. It will ease your pain. But eventually you will end up like me. And I'm, I have such small. Uh... Dr. Faust! Dr. Faust! We he is dead. <laughs> Would you like to consume? Oh, man. There's two endings here. No, yes and no. No, screw that. I'm fine with not knowing what, what's behind the veil of nature.
try try it some other time. charge this oh here we go another puzzle do we have anything here we go it's this five glyphs or glyphs Are there, are there five of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, another six. Two. Impressionist. Wonder what these symbols might be used for. Z and then Sun. Wait, these might be the inner symbols. I think so. So it'll probably be like the fire with the the two suns. It could be this. The Z. Wait, no, I think it has to be the Z. That's the only one. Now this this one will be the sun. I think. There we go. Triangle clock and then tic tac toe. C and circle clock. Now, there we go. I guess not. I guess I could have looked at that too. <laughs> Didn't think it was going to be that easy. Oh shit. I think there's no fall damage in this game. that we sure this is like the right way wait there's symbols on top oh so that it's that one right there does that mean it has to be the triangle See that before. 
buyer with the two sons. So this one has to be the son. I was right with about this one. This one has to be the circle clock. This one's the square or the maze. There we go, got it. Now we push the button. I can rotate rotate this. Just go around in a circle. Whoops, wrong way. I'm just thinking it has to go all the way around. Wait, no, I think the light has to point at this. But here, we'll just continue. what I think it just has to we push this again Never mind there it is the golem Just alive. Boss fight time. We follow him. We did all this to bring this guy back to life. Must be very important. It's an escort mission. Now he opens the door for us. I can siphon his power. Start running. Well, stuck. Yeah. 
Anything cool over here? Or collectible? Oh, I'm starting to hear voices. Should I check for collectibles? I doubt there's gonna be any here. Let's go touch this thing. directly at it. <laughs> Transformed into a reptile. Now we're on a different planet or a different dimension. Alright, that's insane. <laughs> that was a cool ending. I like that. Cool. That was Canarium, guys. Great game. Uh, there wasn't a lot of puzzles. There, I mean, there was a few, but it was ma mainly just a walking simulator. It was there were some horror elements, but I didn't find the game too particularly scary. It has some like horror themes to it, like it's a, it's a Lovecraftian game. So there's definitely some Lovecraft elements, but I really liked it. The graphics were really nice. Um, the voice acting was pretty good. The story was confusing, but I enjoyed reading all the the notes and listening to all the phon phonographs. These games always have to have a lot of notes and audio logs. This game had a clever way of having uh, putting them in that putting them in. So I don't even know if that's a real thing. Phonographs. Sounds like it would be. Game results. Alright, it took me four four hours. 19 out of 25 documents. Memories witnessed, 18. Only four out of seven secrets. Trophies. 13 out of 20. Damn, I thought I was uh, pretty thorough. Must have missed a bunch at the beginning. Overall progress, 77%. Traveler of Beyond. Yes. It doesn't take too long. Four hours, I think. About maybe 45 minutes of that was just me wandering around trying to figure out what to do. Especially with that one puzzle where you had to draw the symbol. And then that most pre the previous one is uh, that one where you had to open up the caged or the iron gate door with those three symbols. <laughs> That took me forever to figure out. Trophies. Yeah, I wonder where I missed most of them. Well, oh, oh, yeah, that was Canarium. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a lot of fun. Thank you to 
Nate for gifting me this game. I really appreciate it. And I, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.